from NCRT textbook from the topic system of particles and rotation motion topic in the 7.15 sum pannalam parenge to maintain a rotor at a uniform angular speed of 200 radian per second an engine needs to transmit a torque of 180 newton per meter what is the power required by the engine note uniform angular velocity in the absence of friction implies zero torque in practice, applied torque is needed to counter frictional torque. Assume that the engine is 100% efficient. So, if you have a rotor on the uniform angular speed, you can rotate it. You can rotate 200 radians per second. So, on the given data, we will be able So, given, given angular speed of the rotor, angular speed of the rotor equal to 200 radians per second. You can rotate it. That is why the torque required to transmit in the, is the torque is 180 Newton meter. 180 Newton meter. So, this torque is used to be 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 the friction zero be used to 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 that is the torque apply to the friction of the overcome. That is the engine, engine, engine the energy loss. So, now we have a question. The power required by the engine. What is the power required by the engine? So, power is the question mark. So, now we have a power formula. The power formula is the torque into angular velocity. Torque into angular velocity. Now, the torque is 180. Into in the angular velocity of 200 Now, if you have 18 into 2, you 36. That's 3 zeros. Now, the power unit is what? 36,000 watt. In the 36,000 watt, we convert the kilowatt to divide by 1000. So, if you have a kilowatt, you can divide by 1000. That's 36 kilowatt. So, the power delivered. Is everyone by the engine on the 36 kilowatt is the correct answer.